pollen is traveling and it's going to hit the inside. Bloop, right there, pollination. There you go. And then sometimes it just falls off its own anther and hits its own uh, uh, stigma there. Uh, 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 stop, stop, stop. Okay. All right. So the main way that most people think about uh, for pollination is with when animals help. Okay. All right. How many teachers do I have here? How many teachers? Three teachers. I have three teachers. Okay. Um, each teacher, if you could please give the two to come up here and help me. Okay, whichever one you want. Okay, all right. These students will come up to the front to help me. Okay, you do it, Okay, going up there. Okay. Okay. And I need another cluster of flowers over here. Over here, over here. You can come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Yes. Alright, do I have six? No, I need the, 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 the flower. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I need one. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. Okay, here we go. Now, um, when the animals get up in the morning, are they thinking, I'm gonna go out and pollinate flowers? I do such good deeds. No. <laughs> no. What do they think when they get up in the morning? I know what I think when I get up in the morning. What do you think? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Okay. So the animals are gonna move around and drink the what? And nectar. 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 Drink the nectar. Drink the nectar. Eat the pollen. Okay, so go do that. Move around a little bit. Yep. Go yep. Go. You're getting food. Get okay. Nectar. So we've already established that the animals are not being altruistic here. They're not going out and doing good deeds. They they're not thinking about pollinating the flowers. It just sort of happens, right? It just sort of happens. Okay. <laughs> All right, animals, you can hold that, your that, position. That's a bee. Bees don't fly like that. Okay. Positions. Stop right there. Hold your position. Okay. Now, okay, this is a, uh, so the process that's happening here is called pollination. Pollination is when the pollen sticks to the sticky stigma. That's all it is, right? Okay. But there's something tricky that I want to ask you about that. Okay, so let's say I have a, a red tulip over here, okay, and then let's say that, I don't know what this is, a camellia, a pink camellia over here, okay, so let's take the bee, and the bee is going to drink the nectar here and get pollen stuck from the camellia, and then come over here and then drink the nectar from a tulip, okay, all right, go, go do it, go for it, yeah. So, and let's see, and then go back, okay, back to the camellia. Now, was that pollination? That, yes. That's cross-pollination. Well, technically, I suppose, yeah, cross-pollination. Technically, I suppose you could say it's a kind of pollination, but did it work? It's, it's, not, this, it's not the same plan. Wait, 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 oh. no, 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 the kids are supposed to answer this. Okay, all right. So, Time out. So, yeah. <laughs> Time out. A better person. So, So they, they had pollen, oh, yeah. and but why is it going to not work? It's not going to make a seed. Why not? Why not? Way on the end. Because, because it doesn't have its own pollen. Because it doesn't have its own kind of pollen, which has its own kind of yeah. pollen. Yeah. All right. Very good. All right. If everybody could put your, your props, uh, put them in the blue bin here. Just stick them right in the big blue bin there and have seed. You guys are great. Great, great, great. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So, so we can talk a little bit about animal pollination here, which is, it's a reward system. Okay. The, the plants, um, they don't have brains like we do, so they're not really like, oh, okay. Maybe I don't have to sneeze. All right. Okay. So, every, everybody's going to get one of these to look at. Pass it until it gets to the people on the end and put it on the I think we should look at it. Five seconds. Five seconds. Okay. I like the five second rule. That's cool. You're welcome. Uh, teachers and grown QP? Yeah. Okay. If there's anything you really want to see, just give me a holler. Okay? Okay. You know you want to see it. I do. I do. Actually. 
get it. This is the <laughs> and my wife told me not to have fun. She said, I'm just there to chaperone the kids. She knows how to have fun. I was like, I'm here to have fun. <laughs> Sometimes kids don't get this. This is an S and ends with an L. Yeah, this is a tough one. one. You may not have had this before. It's a modified leaf, actually. Okay, but if you hadn't heard of it, there's no way you can probably okay. guess it. So I'll give you the cue card. Sepals. Okay. So sepals protect the buds before the flowers get a chance to bloom. When they bloom, then you see the really showy parts, and they can be various colors, which would be what are those called? The pretty petals. parts. The petals. Okay. Now inside a flower. Inside a flower, there would be boy parts and girl parts. The boy part is called the stamen. <coughs> and when you look at your flower, okay, you notice that there was these long skinny things, okay, with the red things on top, okay? That whole thing in there would be the stamen, and that's the boy part of the plant, okay? Now, the male parts of the plant, that long skinny thing is called the filament, and the, the thing on the end is called an anther, okay? Anther. And the anther makes the pollen. All right. Now the female part of the plant is called the pistil, and that was in the center.